in this video, I want to do a quick update on what we did in the last one and simply set up the close buttons. So one, they work, two, we don't have two of them, and three, it only has one here in the middle to, to click on. So what we're going to do is go to our inventory, go to the designer, click where it says close, and get rid of it. We got to go to the graph, event graph, and we can just simply delete that. So we're deleting that event. So let's go to our shop inventory. We're going to drag on a button to our canvas panel. I want to anchor it to the middle. Set the position to zero. Set the alignment to 0 0.5 on the X. And then I want to drop it straight down. So let's do negative 10. Add some text onto that button. Let's give the text the text of close. And I want to make the size a good bit bigger. So let's bump up the font to 32. Uh, let's do 64. We'll go ahead and just double it. Uh, that's a little big. 48. And we have to make the button fit that. Something along the lines of that for size. So we're going to do 200 by 85. Again, reset the X and Y position. Oops, that explains why it was so. There we go. All right, then we readjust this. We're going to do negative 5. Let's click on the text. Justify to the center. Name the button. B underscore close. And add an, an event. So for the event, we're going to grab the parent. Do a valid check, just like before. And we're just going to call the UI function. Or sorry, the cross. I think it was called crosshair. To set it back to the HUD. We should probably rename that to HUD, but currently that is what it is. So we press I, hit close, and it works. So now we can pick up the items. We can grab this big stack right here. We can grab our coins, open our inventory. We have everything good to go. Close it, reopen, and everything's working as it once was. Alrighty. So we have our close button set back up. Let's go ahead and rename crosshair to HUD. I think that's going to make that a lot cleaner. Everything already updates and we're good to go. Make sure it works still real quick. And it does. So we are finished. So that's all we're going to do in this video. We just wanted to set that up real quick so we can easily close it for testing and well, obviously we need to do it anyways. But that's going to be all for now. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for patrons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord server that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.